This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite L555 laptop. Toshiba Satellite L555 laptop. Now this is a 17.3 inch LED laptop with a fairly large screen. So before you get started you want to take care of electrostatic discharge so you either wear an electrostatic strap or what I usually do is work either barefoot or with just socks on. Okay, um, this screen is not too difficult to remove. So what you have to do is remove the plastic frame first and then get to the screen. Now, in order to remove the plastic frame, you first have to remove six screws. There's four on the top and two on the bottom down here. Now, each of those screws is going to have a, a rubber bumper there, so you need a tool to remove these. So the tools we're going to use today, it's a small electronics screwdriver with a PH0 bit and a PH1 bit, an X-Acto knife blade, a plastic prying tool that looks something like this. All you need is a sharp plastic edge. If you don't have something like this, a guitar pick works fine. And if you don't have a guitar pick, a metal kitchen spreading knife is fine also. And then you need some uh, small metal tweezers to pick screws out. And also, I use an um, electric screwdriver to open up screws quicker, but you don't have to use this. I just use it myself. Okay, we use our X-Acto knife blade to remove the rubber bumper to expose the screw. What I like to do is then stick it beside it so I don't lose it. And I did it for the five other rubber bumpers that are already on the sides. So the screws are exposed. And then we use our screwdriver to remove all six of the screws. Okay, what I like to do with the screws is keep them in separate bunches. So the screws for the plastic frame are going to be in separate bunches. And the screws that hold the screen in is going to be in a separate bunch. And that's three. Let's switch hands so that we can see the work. By the way, this is called a General Electric Screwdriver. You can buy it on Amazon for about $20. And it uses two AAA batteries. If you do this kind of work a lot, it's a great help because it will help with their carpal tunnel syndrome down the road. So this is a little bit trickier to get to, but not too bad down here. Okay, and one last screw down here. When you first open them, your first turn has to be pretty strong so you don't strip the screw. Okay, so we removed all six of the screws, and now we're going to remove the plastic frame. So what I like to do from this is try several approaches. The first approach I try is to grab from the screen side and use my fingers to reach underneath and pop open the frame. If you hear a snapping sound, that's a good sign. It's coming off. So this one comes off relatively easy, no problem. And then you go here too. And next we have to get to the seam on the bottom of the laptop. If we close it here, we see a seam, and that's where a plastic prying tool comes in useful. We try to work the seam until we crack it open, and 
This one wasn't too bad, so cracked open. We go again on the top. And now what I like to do is use my metal tweezers to reach in here and start pulling the screen out. So if that's not working, see if you could work this part over here and try again. And one side's out. If you have to spend a little bit of time with this, that's, that's fine because this is the hardest part of the whole procedure is to get this plastic frame removed with one piece and without breaking it. So the plastic frame is removed. We put it to the side and now the screen is exposed. So the screen is held on to a metal frame with screws that are on the side. So we have to reach these screws that are on the side and we take a look and see if we can use our little screwdriver with a pH zero bits and we can relatively easily reach all of them. Sometimes you have to tilt the screen forward a little bit like so to reach them but this one we don't. So we start removing. There's three screws on each side. One. Two. And make sure the this, this screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so when you start removing the screws the screen just doesn't come flopping down on you. Because there's a cable on the back that you don't want to damage. So we turn this side now. One. And once again, keep the sets of screws in different piles so I can keep track of them. Two. And three. So the screen should be free now. What sometimes happens is the video camera cable, the webcam cable, is attached to the back of the screen. So when you tilt it forward, you have to be careful and until we see the connector. So we tilt it forward, separate the video cable from the rest, and now we see the connector. So this is a delicate connector. Be careful with this. There's some adhesive tape on top. You peel that back. And also the connector is has some adhesive on the back of it, so you have to peel that off. Take your time on this. And once you peeled all the adhesive off, just pull the once you peel the adhesive off, just pull the connector back. It just pulls back and it's done. Okay, so the screen is removed. It's a 17.3 inch. LED screen with the connector on this side, on the left side, as with most 17.3 LED screens. Sometimes HP laptops are going to have a connector on this side, but this is a Toshiba laptop, so it's here. Now the part number of the screen, let's see if we can get a good focus. There we go. It's L, it's LP173WD1. LP173WD1. And that's all you really need to do when doing a search on either eBay or Google. And most likely they'll ship you a compatible screen. Just make sure the back of it looks like this. And if the front had a glossy finish, your screen has a glossy finish also. And that's all we really need to do. And once you got your new screen, reverse the procedure, put the screen back, put the connector back on, and put the plastic frame back on, and you should be good to go. And good luck. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.